intensity and a conviction to make a difference. Adam's love for people and skills have changed hundreds of lives through Forge and through those students, the lives of millions. Please join me in welcoming Buckley Award winner, Adam Joseph. I'm looking at William Buckley's um, face in this, in this award. I'd like to tell you guys that I'm this William F. Buckley aficionado, and that I, you know, that I can. I mean, because that's a that's a that's like a great party trick in a, in a conservative gathering like this, right? I'd love to I'd love to tell you this. I'd love to know, tell you I know this all, all this Buckley trivia. And as as I started getting involved in the conservative movement, I realized William F. Buckley was was the man, and I and I needed to. Uh, you know, read the books and, and all this. So I, so I was really embarrassed when, like, uh, a month ago, uh, my wife Jessica and I were uh, in Maine at a friend's wedding, and there was this little antique store, and they had old political campaign buttons. And it was, you know, mainly the Northeast, right? It was a lot of campaigns from the mid 20th century. I didn't know many of them in the, in the Northeast. I'm from Ohio, and look, I mean, local races, state races, and then I see this Buckley pin. It's got this big American flag. You know, on the left of it, and then you know, in, in all caps, Buckley. And I, you know, I, this is William F. Buckley's run for mayor, right? This is this is this is awesome, and I'm gonna, this is gonna be my, I'm gonna prove to my buddies I finally know as much about Buckley as they did. So I, I can buy this for six dollars, and I'm, I'm just really jacked and excited, and I, so I, I, I emailed out to a group of friends because that's really cool, um, and sent it out, and sure enough. Uh, it was his uh, older brother, James Buckley's uh, U.S. Senate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm not. I, <laughs> uh, but uh, hopefully, uh, a little bit about what we do with, with Forge is, uh, is honoring to the Buckley legacy more than my uh, knowledge of, uh, of campaign memorabilia. Uh, so so I, I wanted to um, you know, first first say that, that um, I want to thank, thank AFF. Uh, I want to thank Heather and Jackie and then the whole staff and board. This is a tremendous honor and I'm absolutely blown away. A very unexpected and, and, and uh, just a tremendous honor. I want to thank uh, our, our, this is an award shared by the Forge Leadership Network um, Board of Advisors, uh, my co-founder Justin Powell and our entire board, and um, and all of our and all of our students and alums. We have a few alums uh, here over, I think, the, uh, this is the Forge contingent uh, on the right, um, as, of course. Um, and I want to thank my, uh, my amazing wife, uh, Jessica, who um, has has uh, been up for this this adventure? We uh, we were uh, college sweethearts and met in a college ministry, the Navigators uh, Christian Ministry. And, and at the time, I either wanted to be a college missionary, a college professor, or a golf pro. And uh, and I didn't have politics was not even on the radar. So uh, so we got married, and then my first job was in politics. Uh, so she's a, uh, a amazing and a, and a saint for putting up with with that uh, little uh, you know change of uh, of. of of direction. So, what what Forge Leadership Network does um, is only possible because because um, this was a this was a, a dream that um, you know God kind of chose to download download um, on the on the on, on our hearts and on uh, you know my heart and, and Justin's heart and, and the board and the, the students at Forge and this was a uh, you know, kind of those, one of those things where, where God creates in you a, a passion um, and you see a need and and you realize look if if we can get we can scrounge up a few resources, and, and we can connect, um, and we can connect the right people. Um, this is what, we'll see where this goes, right? And so, and so, you know, Psalm one one twenty seven says, "Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain." Um, and in First Corinthians, in the New Testament, First Corinthians three um, says a similar thing. When when the Apostle Paul's talking, he says, "I planted the seed in your hearts, and Apollos, um, who was one of his co laborers in, in the gospel, watered it." But it was God who made it grow, and, and honestly, um, you know, as, as we started this, this small nonprofit in the middle of uh, the Midwest that, that, that hoped to have a national and international uh, impact, it absolutely had to be um, something of, of the Lord uh, to prosper and, and see. And we've just been um, incredibly, um, you know, blessed to be able to steward that and, and, and come alongside what God's doing in the lives of young uh, conservatives uh, and young Christians across this in this nation. So. Forge Leadership Network, for those of you who, who don't know, Forge mentors, trains, and connects young conservatives ages 18 through 25, equipping them to lead 
in politics, culture, and business. And it's, it's really because we believe that the liberty movement is an American movement that we are building a farm system of conservatives in the states. So we are, it's a, it's a baseball term, right? I'm a big sports fan. Yeah, long-suffering uh, Cincinnati Bengals fan, especially <laughs> suffering this year. Yeah. Uh, very good at losing <laughs> winnable games. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. it's, it's <laughs> with, with the, the sports analogies, farm system, right? You're, you're only, in, in baseball, you're only as good as your farm system. The Houston Astros were a great testament to that, right? All these, all these players were, if anybody who's still with me on the sports analogy, all these players were minor leaguers that they had drafted, right, mainly, and then Justin Verlander helps, um, and, and all these minor leaguers, and, and they, they, they came up through the system, right? And so as we, as we looked around Ohio, and we talked to friends in other states, and actually we realized there were a lot of amazing conservative organizations, a lot of amazing conservative causes, and a lot of conservative young people who, who wanted to, to do good things and had good dreams on their heart, but they didn't know how to get connected. And those, and those two, and those two opportunities worked, uh, were connected. So we th thought, what if we could actually come up with a formal mentoring system by which we could be for 18 to 25 year olds what wasn't there for us, at least on the, at least on the state side. So what if we could help? Uh, what if we could help young conservatives realize that they didn't have to choose between an unprincipled, uh, you know, kind of an, uh, an unprincipled. Um, squish uh, to be their mentor or you know somebody who in the south you'd say bless their heart had all the right principles uh, but but really strategy was really not not their thing right so what if we realize there's all these principled and strategic conservatives out there nationally and stateside what if we could help young people be mentored by them uh, help them find the best internships and jobs so that's where that's where forge came from. forge connects young people with experienced mentors and opens professional opportunities nationwide ultimately inspiring these students to apply the principles and skills they've gained to promote liberty in their hometowns. All right, the liberty movement that AFF and the Buckley Awards are here to, to celebrate and uphold uh, belongs to the citizen statesmen. And in addition to legislative aides, campaign staff, and school board members, we're really proud of the fact that we've also trained engineers, young engineers, farmers, uh, pastors, and, and teachers. So we, we envision young conservatives in many vocations applying the principles of limited government, economic freedom, Judeo-Christian ethics, and, and thriving families and communities across America. For those of you who are 18 to 25, the third annual, or the fourth annual Forge Leadership Summit is, is coming up this next summer. We'd love for you to go on forgeleadership.org and consider, and consider applying. It's an amazing program, limited spots available, but uh, we, we are raising up the next generation of conservative leaders in the states uh, with amazing partnerships with national organizations like Heritage Foundation, Alliance Defending Freedom, our friends here at ADF and the wonderful sponsors here. And uh, just thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, loving uh, freedom and liberty and, uh, and, and this great nation. Thank you.